the T to the T to the T to the Brewing Table Talk. Hey guys, it's Charisma. And it's Cameron. And welcome back to Bruin Table Talk. Today we have our newest members of this year's Intag group, and we're so excited to have you guys. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a lot of new ideas, and yeah, we're excited to have you guys join. And now introducing our new members of MTAD. Kayla Owens, Kiara Jefferson, Jalen Penn, and Imari Thomas. <laughs> So, hey, y'all, how are y'all doing? What's happening? Doing pretty good, just chilling. Bless the highly flavored. Yes, yes. So let's get right into it. So this year is going to be super exciting. Me and Riz are definitely super excited to have y'all a part of MTAD. So for y'all, what are y'all most excited and looking forward to uh, for MTAD this year? I'm most excited about being able to use my voice again in a collective effort with you guys. I feel like a lot of discussions have died down recently, and so I'm just ready to ramp back up. Yeah, I would say same for me. I'm just excited to be able to use my voice and use my platform for these matters that um, are super important to me and to us. Yeah, I think having this community is uh, super important. I'm honored to be a part of it, just to reach out to communities and educate and just spread awareness. I'm extremely excited to just be a part of you guys and have a chance to use our platform to really speak up on different things. Yeah, it's gonna be super exciting. We're gonna get new ideas from you guys and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So speaking of you guys joining MTAD, has there been like an event or time that you witnessed in your life that has pushed you to speaking up more about racial injustices and inequalities? like? What is the reason for you guys joining MTAD? Um, I think for me, um, what hit me the hardest was the killing of George Floyd. Um, it was just super shocking. The fact that we actually see in real time um, of his murder, when he rests in peace. But it just brought a lot of anger and just me wanting to really get involved and educate myself and educate people around me. Um, and we also had a killing in Louisville, Kentucky, Breonna Taylor. So I was able to join that community in Louisville, protesting and just um, be in unity with all different people and to use our voices. For me, I would say uh, it started with Oscar Grant when I was younger, just because that hit close to home, being basically down the street from my house and growing up where I grew up, just being able to always be a part of communities where there was protesting and just speaking out. So definitely that. Yeah, that's that's really good stuff. And uh, I definitely feel you on that, J-Pen. Uh, kind of the killing of the murder of George Floyd was kind of the spark and what pushed MTAD to like really start. We started having a lot of like hard conversations last year around that time. And that was kind of really like the spark plug for creating MTAD. So I know y'all kind of all touched on it in question one about using your platforms and stuff. So like in a world that has prioritized like using your platform and speaking out for stuff, like what is the biggest message you want to convey using your platform and whom do you like really hope to impact? I think the biggest message for me is just the power of love, um, how powerful it is to receive love, to give love, um, showing compassion, gratitude, not only to people around you, but it, it, within yourself as well. Um, and I think I really want to impact just young girls who look like me, um, that they are enough and that they have everything that they have within them already. Uh, I think really just spreading awareness and knowledge to different people and just making sure that people know that we matter and we are very important in this world. Um, I would say that Knowledge is power, and with knowledge, you're able to have certain discussions and inform people and have conversations with people who might not necessarily look like you or believe things that you believe in. And really, I'm just hoping to impact anyone who's willing to listen. Yeah, just realizing that we're all human. We all have different backgrounds. We all come from different places that make up who we are, and no one should be scrutinized or uh, put down for the things that they have been through and um, the way that they look or anything, so. Yeah, I totally agree with you guys. And we're excited to continue to spread those messages that you guys wanna get out with NTAD. So moving on, we're gonna spice it up a bit, you know, throw in some fun questions or whatever. 
Okay, so the first question is, your song comes on, what's your go-to dance move? I'm simple. I'm simple. I'm just going to do a little, you know, a little bob, a little sway to the side. <laughs> do a little duggy if it's really my song, it's really upbeat. <laughs> Uh, I probably get a little two step in there, you know, not too much. Keep it real simple. <laughs> Got a little hip action going on. So, you know, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Mari. I'll probably do a little two step. It depends on the beat, the flow of the song. I could do a little Dougie too. All right, you already know I'm gonna go with the sneeze. I can finally dance again. All right, now the buzz. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, like KO, J Pin, Mari, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple, a little two step, maybe a little Dougie, depends on the beat, but nice and simple. So uh, I'm gonna hit you with the next one. Okay, dead or alive, who is one pla black person you would love to like have dinner with? Mm. No, first. Uh, I feel like Malcolm X, just because he was so impactful in the community and he had a lot of knowledge to give, um, I feel like us in this current day. That was a good one. I think I would say Maya Angelou, um, just because I think wisdom oozes out of her, um, especially how she represents women. I think after that dinner, I would just feel alive, feel like no, I know what I want to do in the world. Just really, really good conversation with her. Um, I would say Martin Luther King Jr. My grandmother, she's told me stories about how she was able to connect with him a little bit. I guess her family and his family, they were connected to the church. So they oftentimes had conversations or he'd come over for dinner. So I would just love to sit down and have dinner with him. Yeah, I'd say Will Smith, just because I feel like he is the male version of me. I just love how successful he is, how accepting he is of his children and the way that he loves on his family. Um, and he's super funny, so. Uh, I think mine would be Aretha Franklin. Like I recently went to go see the Respect movie and I was like, wow, her life story is just crazy and like all that she's overcome and then like all that she's been a part of. So I'd love to have a conversation with her. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with my favorite basketball player, Kobe Bryant, RIP. Um, but yeah, it would just be really cool to talk to him, you know, get all, all of his wisdom on the basketball court and off the basketball court. So that would be cool. Okay, so if you guys had to listen to a music artist for 24 hours straight, who are you choosing? I'm definitely choosing Janae Iko. She's calm. She got the vibes. I could chill all day with her. Yeah, definitely, Janae. Uh, for me, J. Cole, just because you can go to slow, fast, up tempo, just a variety. For me, I'd say Giveon. I've done it before. I've put him on repeat. And also, his voice is just really relaxing. You know, I got to go with my boy Chris Brown. You know, the world famous artist can do it all. <laughs> Uh, I'm definitely picking Jasmine Sullivan. KJ was talking about Giveon's vocals was smooth. Well, Jasmine can just sing the entire piano and I'd be trying to live vicariously through her, right? Like I can't sing, but she can sing on my behalf. So love Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Jay on Janae. That's my girl, you know, she said, she said it best. She has all the vibes, you already know the vibes. Um, so thank you guys for joining Bruin Table Talk. We've come to the end of it. We appreciate having you guys on and we're so excited for you guys to be joining MTAT this year. It's gonna be fun. And I hope that you guys all enjoy the newest members. They got a lot to bring to the table. So it's gonna be good vibes. Yeah, like Riz says, thank y'all for being on the show today and thank y'all for joining MTAD and y'all will be seeing a lot more of us and especially a lot more J Penn as she is our newest member of Bruin Table Talk. So y'all be seeing her a lot more real soon. And like always, go Bruins!